Now I need to get my TLC plate and the rest of my materials ready for TLC. At your lab station, you're going to find a tray. And the tray has some rulers that you'll need and some matches we just used. Um, and then you're going to find these little triangles of filter paper and you're going to find your TLC plates. Treat your TLC plates really carefully. Um, and you'll also find these capillary tubes that we were just using. Um, so grab out two TLC plates. That's what you will need and one of these triangles of filter paper. The triangle of filter paper is gonna go in your beaker. So you're gonna get a 250 milliliter beaker and you're gonna just have that filter paper ready to go for your lab day. It sticks out a little bit, so you have to fold some down. And then you put that along the inside of your beaker and what happens when you put a little bit of solvent in there is you're going to cover your beaker with a watch glass and that solvent is going to go up the filter paper um, and fill and evaporate and fill the chamber with more solvent vapors and that helps the plate run faster and more evenly when the whole chamber is filled with solvent vapors. So you're going to grab a TLC plate and you want to make about a one centimeter mark on the plate. So what you want to do is go about a centimeter up, get your, get your ruler, measure about one centimeter, and make a line. And make it nice and straight. Now, I should say that there are two sides to this plate. There's a shiny plastic side. That's the backing. Okay, that's the back side of the plate. The dull side is the um, silica side of the plate, and that's really delicate. And so you can scratch off that silica really easily. So when you're using one of these pencils, you have to just, um, these mechanical pencils, you have to be really light about it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two little one centimeter lines on my plate. I just made a couple of one centimeter hash marks on my plate. And then um, I'm going to use those to make a nice straight line along the bottom of my plate. And a one centimeter line is perfect. Then I'm going to make some perpendicular hash marks to that. And I'm wondering what I can have you see here. But then what I'm going to do is make some hash marks that are perpendicular. And I'm going to make three of those. And those three hash marks are going to be for compound one, compound two, and compound three. And then on a second plate, I'm going to need to do the same thing. Um, so one centimeter and then nice and straight, oops, and gentle with your pencil. And then make your hash marks, one, two, three hash marks. And this is where I'm going to put compound four and five and the mixture that I'm assigned in class. You might be assigned unknown mixture one, two, or three um, by your teacher. So then what you need to do is spot a little bit of the dye in one of these spots. So I've got one of the dyes, I've got methylene blue, and we just numbered it for the sake of our lab as dye number one so that it would be easier to talk about. Now, when you get a plate, get some paper and keep track of what dye you're using. So if this is my plate, I wanna keep track of where I put methylene blue when I go and get a plate. So I'm gonna have to say, okay, this is dye number one, and this is methylene blue so I know what I've got on my plate. There's a central table where you'll find these bottles. Um, just be very careful to put them back in the same spot so no one else gets mixed up later. You can put all of your six compounds that you're going to study in your plate right away and label it, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to show you one. I'm just going to show you methylene blue. You would get a spotter, one of the six spotters that you made. You would go ahead and let a little bit of that dye rise into the spotter just by capillary action because the capillary is so narrow. It'll rise right up into that spotter. And then you're going to go ahead and just hold it right above that spot one on the plate and then just barely touch the plate and you'll get a nice spot. Um, that's almost perfect. If you think that you need a bigger or darker spot, you want to wait till you think that this spot has dried. I'm going to just move this so we don't have a minute. Um, you know, and